Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, an error has finally been corrected, boys and girls. Yes, the giant error, the giant mistake, the giant misstep, and the giant entire disrespect that the Halo series over at Paramount Plus was not only to the Halo lore, not only to Master Chief himself, but to every single one of the fans, every single one of the customers, every single one of the people out there that enjoyed Halo, paid money for it, bought the book read the bread of them all that kind of stuff played the games and just absolutely loved this game and shared so many wonderful memories with their fans i am one of those people out there that legitimately only even bought an xbox so that way i could play halo and one other game and it's literally one of them situations where this is gone absolutely insane this was a show that i was angry about right from the very first trailer this was something that we were cautiously optimistic about at the beginning when we heard this because seeing a live action halo series done properly was something that got us all very excited about but as soon as soon as we got that first clip of master cheeks taking off his helmet was just so mad so ridiculous and so insane and completely and totally out of character and then of course as soon as the series absolutely turned into a disastrous dumpster fire in the ratings after all of the fans and all everybody out there just roasted it to all oblivion then they want to come out there and say well it's an alternate timeline it's not supposed to be a direct adaptation of the game Yada, 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 yada. Yeah, all of that had already fallen on deaf ears at that point. It had already fallen flat because everybody knew exactly what you were going to do. You were using the Halo franchise to push your own agenda, to push your own nonsense. And of course, that's exactly what we got right here. And ladies and gentlemen, that error has finally been corrected because Halo has officially been canceled at Paramount Plus. And ladies and gentlemen, it could not have come fast enough. Not only the fact that a Master Chief is one to never ever ever take his helmet off in any event ever so whatsoever and honestly if you've read the spartan lore books i'm out it's one of those things that's incredibly difficult to even understand on that kind of stuff as well but it's one of those situations where even if it wasn't just the fact that master chief never took his helmet off but just the fact from a military perspective alone that one of the last scenes we get with him when he actually takes his helmet off he's literally going into a combat zone he's got his helmet off and he decides to not put it back on he is literally facing a whole ton of gunships right in front of his face right now and instead of being ready for a combat situation no 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 boys and girls he literally leaves the helmet off and just walks right out onto the tarmac the whole concept of this show was absolutely insane and then of course with all the rest of the scenes and everything else it was just an abysmal absolute abysmal failure and a disrespect to everything that master chief was and every kind of person out there that was a fan of this series in any way shape or form and well boys and girls thank the lord praise jesus because it is finally over now at paramount plus so we're gonna check out the article from cosmicbook.news cheer and be happy for all of the th- for seeing this error finally come to an end but before we do if you do enjoy our content hit that like button share with all your friends and subscribe and or follow if you have not already because we have just crossed 800 on both rumble and youtube and we are selling our sales a straight for 900 and i could not do that without every single one of you also leave us a comment down below and let us know if you are as happy and excited as all of the rest of us out there to seeing this show canceled or review one of those out there who actually enjoyed the show and you're sad to see it go either way all opinions are welcome in the comments down below so production team is shopping the series elsewhere and looking for a new home oh the poor babies well considering its ratings and considering its uh, reception with the audience and the fans i'd imagine you are going to be homeless for this show and it's exactly where it deserves so halo council at paramount plus that's all she wrote for the Halo series on Paramount Plus, as the show has been canceled following two seasons. Paramount Plus has officially canceled its live-action adaptation of the popular video game series Halo. The announcement comes just a few months after the premiere of the second season on the streaming platform in February. Thank the Lord. Oh, maybe they were waiting for the final numbers to actually come in and go, yeah, sorry, boys and girls. We're a broke company as is right now. We're already, Paramount's already looking to get bought out and merge with Skydance and potentially get bought out by somebody else entirely. Yeah. Uh, we're already broke. Star Trek costs us enough. We can't afford another sci-fi show that costs us this much that is failing miserably in the ratings and with the fans. Yeah, that dog simply is not going to hunt. 
The news also follows the Skydance Media acquiring Paramount. We just talked about that. Following a fan backlash to the season two trailer, star Pablo Schreiber also told the fans not to watch. Oh, that's right. It wasn't made for us. It wasn't meant for the fans, so you just shouldn't watch. Well, that's okay because we didn't, and we know it's been a ratings disaster ever since the very first season. So go ahead. Don't worry, Pablo Schreiber, the guy who instead of trying to embody the character of Halo and the character the, the character or the embody embody Halo and the character of Master Chief. No, instead, he had to make sure that his contract was for sure that he got plenty of face time so everybody could see that ugly mug of his on the screen as much as possible. Well, screw that and screw you, Pablo. Because guess what? You never understood, you never respected, not only the Halo series, but the great hero that is Master Chief. Instead of maybe doing your homework, instead of maybe looking at some references, God forbid you pick up a book or even a video game at this point because we know from the showrunners themselves that they said they intentionally avoided the video games and the books because they didn't want it to influence them. Oh, dear God, the franchise that Paramount paid God only knows how much for the rights to and why. Why do you pay for the rights for something like that? Why do you pay these exuberant amounts of money? Well, anybody that's ever looked into buying an established business already knows that the reason why those companies and those businesses and these properties are worth so much is because of the customers. The built-in fan base that has made this a success who will show up and buy your stuff or at least give your stuff a try almost no matter what. And guess what? You decided to disrespect those people. You decided to disrespect those fans. You decided to disrespect those customers. And anybody that's ever ran a business or worked at one knows it only takes one bad experience to lose a customer forever. And then, instead of trying to apologize, instead of trying to be, you know, considerate or receptive or even slightly empathetic to the fans of a franchise that has been around for tw- over three, like what, two decades at this point? Well over that? You literally decide to go out there and disrespect all of those people and tell them, well, if you don't like it, just don't watch. Well, guess what, Pablo? We didn't watch. All of those fans that Paramount spent millions of dollars for a built-in franchise while you and the rest of the crew over there are responsible for this absolute abomination, now you're out of a job. How's that? How's unemployment feel, Pablo? Because, yeah, homeboy, no more master cheeks for you. No more getting your cheeks clapped with an alien or any other kind of weird the alien chick dude. None of the rest of that stuff. No, no, no. It's over now. So according to Deadline, Amblin Television, Xbox, and 343 Industries are actively looking for a new home for the series. Because yes, boys and girls, at the end of the day, this is still Microsoft and Xbox and 343's fault. They were the ones running the show. Paramount was just the one dumb enough to foot the bill for it. A spokesman for the Paramount Plus office confirmed the news. We're extremely proud of this ambitious series and would like to thank our partners at Xbox, 343 Industries, and Amblin Television, along with showrunner and executive producer David Weiner. Well, that was a pretty accurate name for him, wasn't it? Sometimes God just got a real funny sense of irony, doesn't he? His fellow executive producers, the entire cast, led by Pablo Schreiber as Master Cheeks. You know, the guy that told you if you don't like it, don't watch it. Fellow executive producers, the oh wait, and the amazing crew for all their outstanding work. Now I will give credit to all the props people and all the people behind the scenes. The show looks like Halo. It's just the problem is the writing's absolutely abysmal, and all of the character interaction and development is absolute trash. I don't blame that on all the hardworking people behind the scenes that gave us an incredible looking Halo show, which initially had us so excited for it, and then of course that all fell flat. So, but shout out to you guys out at the crew. You guys did an excellent job. This isn't your fault. We wish everyone the best going forward, the spokesman filled in deadline. So, of course, they, we deeply appreciate the millions of fans who propelled the Halo series to be a global success. Oh, you mean all of those millions of fans that you completely and totally disrespected with your abomination of a show and those fans that decided to check out are the reason why your show has failed miserably? Oh, yeah, all of us. 
You're welcome. You're welcome for making sure your show failed. Congratulations. Congratulations. You get exactly what you deserve. So it's just a bunch of more speak and all of that kind of stuff. And this is just more of the history of Halo and all of that kind of stuff. This is something that has failed miserably. It was a disrespectful from the beginning to the Halo series, to Master Chief himself, and of course, most importantly, the fans. You know, those people that buy your stuff, the people that keep the lights on, that keep you employed. They're Pablo. How's that working out for you? Disrespecting the fans, disrespecting the lore, and trying to rewrite it in your own image. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's a very old story about someone out there trying to rewrite things in his own image, thinking that he could be like God. Well, that didn't work out very well for Lucifer, and it sure as hell didn't work out very well for the people over at 343 Industries and the people responsible for this absolute abomination that was Paramount Plus's and Microsoft's Halo series that now has made sure that Pablo, Mr. Don't Like It If You Don't Don't Watch It If You Don't Like It, is now officially out of a job. And hopefully, if the world is smart and Hollywood is wise to the numbers and the nonsense that this absolute abomination created, this show will never see the light of day ever again. And boys and girls, I would put money on that fact. Because guess what? 343, Microsoft, and Pablo! You did this to yourself. You disrespected the fans. And now you're getting exactly what you deserve. Enjoy the unemployment line, Pablo.